Baskerville. Cut feature in the air. The shot in and out. Curry with a big rebound. And Tech is up by four with 3.17 to play. And they have the ball. There's Boyd with his nose right on the ball. You're going to get Boyd with a foul. That will be number four on Boyd and number five in the second half on Memphis State. And Dan Turk says why. That's the Virginia Tech bench. There's Del Curry. And again, Fred, with still one more foul to go, Memphis State can afford to play very aggressively on defense. 3-12, left in the game. Curry looks tired to me, Fred. He's really breathing hard. Down low, Brow. He's had the hot hand. A push against William Bedford, his first personal foul. Brown wanted a shot. He wants the ball. Good pivot inside by Brown. Bedford is trying to push on him. But we've noticed this a couple of times today. You can't push inside when the referee is standing right there watching you. Three minutes, two seconds left in the game. That is the 16th foul now on Memphis State, so everybody's wanting one. And Del Curry with a big shot from way outside. Memphis State went to the zone. Del Curry recognized there was nobody in his face, man to man, and he drilled it from downtown again. We are down to it. Memphis State has to get it going now. They're down by six with 2.43 to play. Boyd is fouled. Johnny Fort got him on the arm as he started to the bucket. The third foul on Johnny Fort. That'll put Dwight Boyd on the free throw line. Two minutes, 41 seconds left. Memphis State down by six. The last thing that Virginia wants to do is to put the Tigers on the free throw line with the Tigers down six points. But it's not, not something they have very much control over. Virginia Tech plays their hearts out. They look a little tired to me. These are great athletes for Memphis State. Get the feeling Memphis State has one more run left in them. Uh, I get that feeling. And out. Beecher has it. Virginia Tech leading by six, and they have the ball with 2.35 to play. The pressure on Memphis State now. And here's Turner matched up against Curry again. Beecher catches it high and dishes it right back outside the fort. And now Virginia Tech's going to call a timeout here. Bedlam here in Castle Coliseum. Virginia Tech getting timeout with 2.26 left in the game, leading by six points over Memphis State. Back after this from Budweiser. They are cranked up here in Blacksburg, and there's why. Virginia Tech leading by six over Memphis State. With 2.26 left in the game, Charlie Moyer called the timeout. And each team now has one timeout left. The arrow on a hill ball would give possession to Memphis State. That's an important factor in this game. We've been talking about how Memphis State's been playing aggressively defensively because they were not over the limit on free throws yet. The next Memphis State foul, Virginia Tech will shoot one and one, so the Tigers have to play a little bit more honestly now. This man, Del Curry, has scored 26 points in this game as Virginia Tech tried to thwart Memphis State's bid to become the number one ranked team in the country. North Carolina losing night before last. Memphis State coming in here ranked number two. But Virginia Tech, after being blown out in Mid-South Coliseum Monday night, has stood them off so far this afternoon. 2.22 to play. Tech up by six for the basketball. Memphis State is in his own defense, and that's special made for Curry. He missed that time. Beecher back to Curry. Lays it down to Brow. The shot is up. No good. Blocked by Bedford. Good defense by Bedford. Turner is going to drive it at fourth. No good. Baskerville Holmes is up with it. It's going to be a foul. Keith Colbert. That'll we be his for We have got a group of bodies inside there. Andre Turner, Andre may, be Turner hurt. may be hurt. Andre Turner may be hurt. He's sitting on the floor holding a hand in pain. Turner got by for it, but I think he fell on his hand. And Curry, who came in on the play afterwards, may have fallen on his finger. Big defensive play down on the other end by Bedford, and then a nice outlet pass to Turner to get that break started. Andre trying to shake off the pain. Baskerville holds one for two on the line. We'll walk there, and he will have to face a crazy scene up behind that backboard. Fans waving their arms and screaming, and Holmes very calmly just drills it. Ten points now for Baskerville, eight in the second half, and he could get Memphis State back within four. Got them both. Good work by Baskerville Holmes. He now has 11 points in this contest. It's a four-point game with two minutes to go. Memphis State applying the clamps defensively now, trying to get the ball back. Down the lane, fourth, they're going to call a foul on Andre Turner. And that will be his fourth personal foul. Andre thought he had the ball. Memphis State has changed their press to put Andre Turner in the midcourt area because that's where the 
Virginia Tech has been attacking. They've been putting either Ford or Caesar in the midcourt, getting the ball. They've been handling it pretty easily. Ford catching the ball. Good pass from Colbert Turner trying to come around behind right there. Knocks the ball away, but in the open court, that's usually going to be called a foul. Johnny Fort with four points in this ball game. As you look at Andre Turner, Johnny Fort, the 6'5 sophomore, transfer from Iowa on the line. A 77% free throw shooter. His team up by four. There's Andre. There's Fort. The five point lead with a minute 53 to play. Every nice, point so big man. Nice touch, Fred. No matter what the statistics say, the free throw shooting percentage is, it's always interesting to see what a guy is against the number one team in the country with a chance to win. Six points for it, six point lead, Virginia Tech, Turner in a hurry, against for it in the circle. Boyd, double team on the baseline, and what a tough shot by Dwight Boyd. He has 11 points, and again it's a four point game. 1.39 to play. Baskerville Holmes pressing Curry, they get to Beecher, and on to Fort, the pass deflected by Turner, and Fort saves it near the out-of-bounds strike. Andre got a hand on it. Turner's just everywhere on defense. 125 left in the game, and Tampa State has it down by four. Askew, heavy traffic. He's got Boyd off the baseline. Curry rebounds the missed shot. 115 to play. Still a four-point game. Boy, that's a big miss. Andre Turner with a steal. He's called for his fifth foul. And Boyd oh, and the Memphis State bench is limited. They're up and they're on out on the court. The Memphis State bench and Andre Turner beside themselves. Look at Vinegar. Boy, are they it looked bad. like a big, big steal, and a foul was called on Andre Turner. I thought he had it. It's really a tough call. It's a close call. Dana Kirk, you can see how beside himself he is. Andre Turner fouling out of the game for the first time this year. 21 points. His season high. Here's the Curry coming up the court. Now as he turns, look at Turner. What great instincts. It looks like he may have gotten him a bit on the wrist. That's really a tough call. I don't know where you could call a foul in that situation, to be honest with you. That's really a tough call. But what great instincts by Turner. As Curry turned his back to come the other way, Turner recognized and was right on top of him. He's obviously upset. Andre standing down in the corner of the court, distraught, having fouled out. And Del Curry will go to the line. Virginia Tech leading by four points with a minute nine to play. 27 points for Del Curry. And a five-point lead to the Hokies. Be interesting to see what Memphis State's going to do now, Fred. The one indispensable man they might have had is Andre Turner. 28 for Curry. Askew has gone back to the guard. Moody's in the ballgame. Baskerville Holmes off the baseline with a big bucket. Memphis State still trying to fight their way out of this thing. Down by four with 57 seconds to go. Ford in heavy traffic. He's got a foul there against Moody, fouling Johnny Ford. He just hit two free throws. There's a putting back on the line. Fred, Memphis State has been getting some good shots. It seems like the shots they make are tough shots against pressure. The shots they miss are wide-open jumpers that you'd normally expect them to make. Virginia Tech has been in a zone the last couple times down the court. 54 seconds left in this game. Virginia Tech leading by four. Johnny Fort on the line. He's at three straight under pressure. Beginning to look, Fred, like the... Undefeated, nationally ranked major college basketball teams are going to find Virginia an unpleasant place to visit this week. There's a miss, still a five-point lead. If this lead stands up, there will be no unbeaten teams in Division I. Memphis State is the last unbeaten after North Carolina fell night before last. Askew's shot won't go. Boyd back up, and the foul is going to be called on Roy Brown. And Memphis State Tigers hopefully asking for a goaltending call. They're not going to get it. Well, the number 54. Virginia Tech is not out of the woods yet, Fred. That time you saw Memphis State banging the boards. Even though Virginia Tech has done a great job on the boards all day, Memphis State on that occasion had a clear rebounding position. Virginia Tech has to be careful they don't give up any three-point play. John Wolfong will come in the ball game for Memphis State. 43 seconds to play. Five-point lead, Virginia Tech, and the shot clock will be off. White Boyd. Trying to keep Memphis State breathing here. Does. Now it's a four point lead. Boyd has a dozen points in this game. I'll bet you we got Will Fong coming in the game. What do you want to bet he's going to come in and try to foul Roy Brown? 
Bobby Beecher rebounding the miss. Trying to dig it out of there, and now a foul is going to be called foul on, Beecher. on Beecher. The double-teaming action inside. Beecher was trying to get away. He lowered his shoulder in the opinion of official Don Rutledge. He committed a player control foul. Memphis State tried to fight their way out of this thing. Now let's see the play. Beecher with a nice block out inside. Now the double team. Beecher just swung his arms too violently in there. That's something that the official, I think, really has to call, Fred. Four-point lead with 40 seconds to play. Memphis State with a chance to cut it in half right here. Askew, Wolfong, they're going to have to do it without Andre Turner. Wolfong tried to get it to Bedford. Bedford's got it back and up and in. It's a two-point ball game. That's not exactly the way you draw it up. That ball was off Beecher's hand, bounced up off the board. Bedford got it, and as you say, two-point game now. A timeout comes here, taken by Memphis State. It's their last timeout. It comes with 32 seconds left in the game. Virginia Tech will have the ball in a two-point lead when we come back. Welcome back to Castle Coliseum in Blacksburg. Painter Kirk trying to find his way out of this maze. His team has fought back within two. Let me correct myself, Dan. Memphis State has one timeout left. Virginia Tech has two. Roy Brown is out of the game. He's a 60% free throw shooter. Phil Williams, a 73% free throw shooter, is in. Virginia Tech doesn't need to score. Johnny Fort gets it up to Beecher. 28 seconds left. Virginia Tech with the ball, leading by two. All they got to do is hang on to the ball. They got it in the hands of the right guy. Colbert, a 67% free throw shooter will go to the line. And Baskerville, Holmes, and Keith Colbert exchanging words here. Virginia Tech bench up, demanding a two-shot foul. Baskerville, Holmes standing there asking for a one-and-one. One. That time, Baskerville, Holmes got what he wanted from referee Bobby Ola. It's going to be a one-and-one. One. Now, Colbert's the worst free throw shooter in the lineup at the moment for Virginia Tech. He shoots 67% on the year. It was Colbert he fouled, wasn't it? It was. They got Curry standing at the line. Colbert should be the shooter. Well, Bobby Ola is not going to let that slip by. He's seen. He's, he's going to get Colbert over there now. <laughs> well, well, you nice got to try. try. <laughs> yeah, you got to try it. Keith Colbert is 0 for 2 on the line in this game. 21 seconds to play. Virginia Tech leading by two. If he misses, Memphis State could get a tie. It's off. It's off. Rebounded by Memphis State. And the Tigers could tie it here. That wasn't even close, Fred. 18 seconds to play. Memphis State's going to get it up. That's not, you. Does not look like they're going to go for the timeout. Boyd, jumpers up. No good. Offensive rebound. Oh, hey, by Beecher. How did they get it? The the play. It's over. Virginia Tech has won it. The basket counts. Look yeah. at this scene. Just look. Fred, the Memphis State Tigers are really upset. What a finish. It looked to me like Baskerville Holmes got the offensive rebound and was flying out of bounds. Somehow Beecher came up with the ball. I thought I heard a whistle, but I might bust my hand. It is absolute bedlam. In Blacksburg, Virginia, the Hokies have knocked off Memphis State, and there are no unbeaten teams left in Division I. 